grade twelves. Today we are moving on to the nature and treatment of visual defects. Let's begin. Have you noticed that some people do have visual impairments? This means that their eyes do not function properly. Examples of visual defects that we will be discussing today will be long-sightedness, short-sightedness, astigmatism, as well as cataract. Let's move on to the first. Let's begin with long and short-sightedness. Myopia means short-sightedness or near-sightedness or near vision. Hypermetropia means long-sightedness or distant vision or far away vision. Okay, so what is myopia? It's short-sightedness and hypermetropia is long-sightedness. Now, if your friend has a problem of myopia, it means she is short-sighted. What is the challenge that she's facing? Okay, now your friend with myopia, with short-sightedness, will be able to see close objects very clearly. But when it comes to distant objects or objects that are far away from her eyes, then that is going to appear very blurred to her. Okay, so if your friend Sibongile is reading a book, that's very close to her eye, she is perfectly fine. She can read it very, very fluently, very clearly, and she is happy. But if Sibongile has to look at something far away in the distance, it's going to be a problem. If your mom has hypermetropia or long-sightedness, what challenge does she face? Yes, she will be opposite of Sibongile now, okay? Her problem lies with objects that are close to her eye. So if she's holding the Panado bottle like this to read how many she can take if she has a headache, she won't be able to hold it and read clearly like this because it's going to appear very blurred to her. She needs to take this bottle, move it far away from her eyes so that she'll be able to now read the instructions on this bottle and know exactly how much panado to take for her headache okay so what is mother's problem she cannot look at her objects that are close to her eye it's going to appear very blurred to her but if the panado bottle is far away from her eye she is able to read the instructions on that bottle so mom is the opposite of sibongile Sibongile has a problem with distant objects, but mother with hypermetro hypermetropia, long-sightedness, she doesn't have a problem with things that are far away. She is able to see it clearly, but when something is too close to her eyes, then it appears very, very blurred. Let's look at these two problems in further detail look at long-sightedness and short-sightedness now these two defects are refractive defects meaning that the shape of the eye does not bend light correctly resulting in a very blurred image let's begin with short-sightedness short-sightedness is also called myopia or nearsightedness okay it's a refractive defect meaning this eye has a problem with the bending of light rays because of its shape what can be the problem here well the eyeball shape can be longer than normal okay that can be a problem so what's going to happen in the eye of the person with short-sightedness? Well, if we have to look at the cornea, we will find that their cornea is too convex, meaning it is too rounded. And because the cornea is too rounded, there's going to be a 
problem with where the image is going to focus okay so what is happening let's look at this picture because the cornea is too rounded the light rays that are coming through are going to create an image on this spot here which is in front of the retina and not on the retina where it's supposed to so an image is forming in front of the retina instead of on the retina where it is supposed to form the person's distant vision is going to be very blurred now myopia is a genetic um, disorder meaning it can be hereditary you may have gotten it from your parents or your grandparents but it can also be caused by the overstraining of the eye over a long period of time so what will be the remedy or the solution for a person with short-sightedness okay now this person will need to get glasses that have lenses specially made to be concave now a concave lens has a surface like this that is flattened or curved inwards that is a concave lens that this person will be required to get now what will the concave lens do for this person now we must remember that a concave lens is also known as a diverging lens for a reason Diverging means that it has the ability to spread the light that's coming into the eye. Okay? Now the concave lens is very important because it reduces refraction of light. It reduces or lessens the bending of light. It lessens refraction. So when the light rays are coming through, what will the diverging lens do? They will spread out the light rays so that the image can then be focused on the retina instead of in front of the retina. So nearsightedness can be corrected by using a diverging lens which reduces refraction. Short-sightedness can also be uh, rectified with refractive surgery. Now let's look at hypermetropia, also known as long-sightedness. Now the problem here lies with the shape of the eyeball, which is too rounded. Okay. Now, in the case of a person with long-sightedness, the image that's going to be forming will be focused behind the retina. Can you see? Behind the retina instead of on the retina. Now, this person will not be able to see objects when they are close by as the images are going to appear very blurred. Now, what causes this condition of long-sightedness? Well, as I've mentioned, the eyeball is too rounded or we can say it is too short, right? It is a genetic problem, meaning you could have inherited it from your parents or grandparents, okay? And the problem can also be that the lens cannot become round enough during accommodation. Okay, and another problem can be that the cornea is too flat. Right, so what is the solution to this problem? The problem can be corrected by using convex lenses. Lenses that are bulging out in front and more rounded in front like this now the convex lenses are known as converging lenses converging means they are going to gather the light they're going to bring together the light rays right they're going to converge the light rays where it's supposed to go 
okay so by getting convex lenses on their glasses it's going to allow the light rays that are coming into the eye to converge and gather together on the retina forming a clear image right so long sightedness can be corrected by using a converging lens which is a convex lens the problem lies with the cornea or the lens that's going to be irregularly or unevenly shaped so if you look here right it can be the problem with the cornea or it can be the problem with the lens either one of these but most commonly the cornea right is going to be very unevenly shaped and this results in the light rays now focusing on many points on the retina right instead of just one focal point so what's going to happen is when the light rays are entering into the eye all it, it's going to create many focal points on the retina instead of just one point on the retina what is the remedy for the problem of astigmatism he will require lenses that will counteract or cancel off this irregularity another solution to the problem is that he may require refractive laser surgery well it's a method for correcting or improving your vision if you have this problem of astigmatism so during this refractive laser surgery a laser is going to be used to reshape the cornea so that this person will have the ability to be able to see clearly again okay one day gogo walks in from visiting the doctor mambela my children mambela i have a big problem the doctor says that i have cataract what what Gogo is in a state of panic. We need to explain to her what this cataract in her eye is about. You being the life science fundi, you are going to now explain to to Gogo what the problem is. You need to calm her down. So what would you say to Gogo? You tell Gogo, Gogo, the reason why you cannot see properly is because you have this cataract that the doctor is talking about. That cataract you have in your eye, Gogo, is preventing enough light from passing through your lenses, which is affecting your vision. So, show her this picture. Gogo, look at this picture. Here's your lens. It is looking so cloudy there because with your age something happened over the years some of the protein making up the lens started to clump together causing this cloudiness that you see here in your lens gogo and that cloudiness of your lens is preventing enough light from passing through it and that is why you are not having clear vision What they will do for you is that they will replace your lenses that are affected and they are going to put for you clear plastic artificial lenses in your eye. Maybe one of your lenses can be replaced to see distant objects and the other lens to see near objects. So there's always a solution to the problem, Gogo. Let's recap. Very good. Did you understand my Gogo story? Well, what have we discovered? We have discovered that a cataract prevents enough light from entering into the eye through the lens because the lens appears very very cloudy. Okay? And this is going to affect vision. The person won't be able to see clearly. Okay? And the problem occurs with age. Now Gogo is an older person. What's happening is that some of the protein making up her lenses over the years started to clump together causing the cloudiness that she is facing today. The problem can be solved with eye surgery where one lens can be replaced to see distant objects and the other lens can be replaced to see near objects. There's always a solution to the problem, Gogo. No stress. <laughs>